Hello guys and welcome back to our channel Boss Admirers for today's video covering all the latest news updates and transfers roundup regarding Barcelona. In this episode, we go to reports about the currently worrying injury situation of Ronald Araujo as the club doctor struggled to help him out, while Laporta aims at sealing the contract of a youngster amid serious interest from several other European giants. On the other hand, a Swedish striker is being closely followed by the club to land in the summer in case there are no big money signings along with many more such updates. So make sure to watch this video till the very end without skipping over any part. To start off the day with, we have sports report that states that the return of Ansu Fati has revitalized Barca at a decisive moment of the season. His state of form allows the team to face the Champions League and El Clasico with options to win. Madrid-based news outlet Marsa also stated that against Valencia, Fatih achieved yet another feat, becoming the Barcelona player with the most goals before the age of 19 with 13 strikes. He is followed by Bojan Kerkic with 12 and Leo Messi with 7. The young attacker also managed 7 goals in his debut season and 4 in the last campaign, of which he missed the majority due to injury. Sport further reports that according to sources, although Barca want to announce Fatih's renewal before the Clasico, it is impossible and his renewal will not be announced until the international break in November. Ansu only wants to stay and he does not even contemplate any other options. Moving on to the next news update, Spanish news publication Mundo Deportivo reports that Coman reinvented Serginho Dest as a winger against Valencia and the former Ajax player did not disappoint. In the 87 minutes he played, Dest gave a total of 31 passes, won 7 duels, completed 4 successful dribbles and gave 3 crosses. However, the victory against Valencia will not be enough a sports reports that in the Champions League, anything other than winning against Kiev would be a crisis of biblical proportions ahead of the Clasico. Even winning three of the remaining six games will not guarantee qualification because Benfica already has four points. Besides, it would mean winning at the Allianz Arena against Bayern. Reporting further on the upcoming game, Diario AS reports that Clement Longley could accompany Gerard Pique in defense on Wednesday since Eric Garcia picked up a red card against Benfica. Top tier journalist Javi Miguel also confirms that it's very likely that Komen will start Longley at the middle of the back line along with Pique against Dinamo as Garcia remains suspended. Now one of the primary reasons why this risk has to be taken is the injury of Ronald Araujo. According to the report of reliable journalist Albert Masno, the injury to Araujo has set off alarms in the Barca medical services. The player has already had three muscular injuries in the past and this new injury confirms that he is someone who must be cared for in a special way due to his propensity to break muscles. Doctors and physical trainers have been put to work so that these problems do not get worse. In fact, reliable journalist Luis Fernando Rojo confirms that Usman Dembele, Pedri Gonzalez and Araujo will not play in this week neither against Kiev nor against Real Madrid. Doctors are very cautious in all three cases and do not want to risk a relapse. Going to the next one, we have the comments of Barca legend Andres Iniesta. He said in his most recent interview that Barca definitely have the team to win Clasico and also the league as well. Iniesta further said that the fans are always optimistic and even more so for the Clasico. They will be looking forward to the game and the team playing well and winning. And he hopes that the players certainly do play well and get all the three points. Andres continued saying that from here and looking back at the last few years, it's not been an easy situation. New players are coming in, young players, players from elsewhere and other players have left and it's never easy. We all have to have faith that they will end up following the right line. The legendary midfielder insisted that we have to value the faith being shown in these young guys. The only thing that we should not think is that 17 or 18 year olds can be the only solution during these times. He continued saying that when he was promoted to the first team, it was tough. He would advise the youngsters coming through to take advantage of the opportunity. We cannot put the responsibility on them to carry the team. They have to accompany the team little by little, gaining prominence and becoming important. 
until the next one, the club has confirmed that the General Assembly will reconvene on Saturday on the 23rd of October at Barcelona facilities in front of the Palau Blaugrana. All the 4,457 members will be reinvited to join. The meeting's first call for members will be at 3pm and the second one will be at 3.30pm. Meanwhile, former Barcelona president Josep Maria Bartomeu has also spoken up in his most recent interview with Catalonia Radio. He said that the first coach that he called up to replace Valverde was Coman. He was called in December, but Quero managed it. His agent told him that Coman was completely focused on the Euros and that he was not going to change teams. Then, Kike Setien came in. But Setien did not do well. In fact, he did very badly. They decided to go back to the initial idea in the summer, which was Ronald Koeman, and at that time he said yes. Koeman has done a very good job recomposing a dressing room that came from very painful defeats. Commenting on Messi, Bartomeu said that Leo came here at the age of 13 and he is the best player in the history of football. His contract expired, so he went for free. He was the highest paid player in the world by far, but he generated the income and he deserved every bit of it. The club could pay him at that time. In his defense, Bartomeu said that he fought a lot for Messi to stay at the club and it hurts him a lot that in the end he left. Messi told him he wanted to go in 2020 and he asked him where he wanted to go. Messi told him that he did not know. Of course, he could not allow Leo to go and play for a rival of ours in the Champions League. Now this is precisely the point where the interviewers should have just stopped the interview and walked right out of that room. When Bartomeu said that he could not allow Leo to leave, that's exactly when he crossed the limit. He had promised Messi that if he ever wanted to leave the club, Bartomeu would let him. Now what was he thinking making that promise? That Messi would leave Barca to play in the Argentine league? This is just straight up nonsense. Of course, we all wanted Leo to stay, but I absolutely hated it when he was forced to stay against his will. And I hated it even more when that man was compelled to leave a year later when he wanted to stay. Commenting on the failed signings of Barca, such as Douglas and Matheus Fernandez, Bartomeu said that the president does not decide in these cases. The people of the sports area listen to and paid attention. Sometimes they get it right and sometimes they don't. The signing of Mbappe was valued back in 2017, but the technicians preferred Dembele. Gerard Pique, however, was not going to let Bartomeu get away with it. He said in his Twitch stream that he went on Twitter and they saw Bartomeu's words. If he spoke, he was going to explode. Commenting about Messi's Ballon d'Or chances, Twitter said that if they go for the award criteria, then Messi will win. If it goes to the player who is the best in the world, then once again, it is Messi. Now with all that, we come to an end of today's news roundup. Moving on to the transfers section, for the first one today we have a report by Mundo Deportivo. It states that the great clubs of Europe are all after Ansu. From England, Germany, Italy and France, they have all asked for Fati, who has scored in 11 of his last 16 shots on goal. Moving on to the next transfer update, we have an intriguing one on our hands as Italian news outlet Calcio Mercato reports that Mino Raiola, the agent of Juventus defender Matthijs de Ligt, has contacted Barca with the intention of a possible transfer move for his client next summer. Raiola has been in talks with Chelsea and Manchester City as well. However, for the next transfer update, we have a rather disappointing one. As top-tier transfer insider Oriol Domenech reports that there is a debate within the club regarding Dani Alves. Barca have not yet returned an answer to his call. On his Twitch stream, Gerard Pique said that Dani Alves is a great friend of him and one of the best players in the history of the club. His return to Barca depends exclusively on the decisions taken by the club and its management. Very surprisingly, however, Pique confirmed on the stream that Vinicius Jr. was in touch with him regarding his adaptation at Barca, but at the very last minute, Real Madrid doubled the offer for the Brazilian and he ended up at the Spanish capital. For the next transfer update, we have a report by journalist Adrian Sanchez. It states that Xavi Simons has asked Mino Raiola if there are options to return to Barca. Now in my opinion, it does not really matter how talented that arrogant kid thinks he is. He should just stay out. 
for people who are not yet aware of this, Simmons is a La Masia graduate and he was all set to play for the first team in a few years time, but his excessive salary demands compelled the club to not to renew his contract, following which he moved to PSG in 2017. Now no way we're allowing snakes back into our club. Going to the next transfer update, journalist Ekrem Konur reports that Manchester City is considering Ansu Fati as a replacement for Raheem Sterling, while Barcelona is still trying to extend the contract of the youngster. However, in my opinion, City can keep just dreaming. Barca will never let go of such a gem. Speaking about Sterling's rumoured arrival, journalist Luis Fernando Rojo reports that City have placed an 18 million euro price tag on Raheem Sterling amidst interest from Barcelona. Mundo Deportivo has put in yet another Premier League player in the transfer list, as according to their report, 24-year-old Yuri de la Marche of Leicester City is one of the names on the Barca wish list, but the club's economy makes it almost impossible to sign him. Next up, we have a report by top-tier journalist Sique Rodriguez. It states that Alexander Isak is seen as an alternative if Barca failed to land Erling Haaland in the next summer. That's all the news we could collect for you today. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon, select all and enable all the YouTube app notifications. We have always been overly impressed by your response to our videos. So in this episode, we have decided to set a target of 550 likes. Please Kulers, help us reach our target on this episode as well. Now that's all we have for today's episode. I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Until then, stay safe. Vishkal Barca, Vishkal Catalonia.